What is up, you guys? Today is going to be a pretty interesting video. We're actually on the way to Atlanta, Georgia, or at least the surrounding area, to pick up a big wholesale order. That's going to be a separate video. But on the way, we're going to stop at places like this Goodwill, right outside of Augusta, Georgia, trying to find items that we could flip for a profit. And I think it'd be pretty cool if we could find enough stuff on the way to Atlanta to sell and make enough profit to cover the cost of the trip. We've got Absolutely. a hotel we're staying at tonight. tonight. We've got gas. <laughs> we've got food. So that's going to be the goal of today's video. Let's head into the first goodwill started out right uh so i don't know if this is gonna be good or not we've got some nike shoes right here for 46 dollars all right yeah, we might uh we might not be in here very long we've actually come to augusta georgia to thrift before and i remember the last time it was very expensive as well i don't think the clothes are too bad i mean we got like a six well maybe it's a six dollar t-shirt right there another six dollar shirt but I don't know. Got some golf clubs over here. Maybe we'll find something. Didn't see anything over in the golf clubs over here. I saw this like pattern. I know that's like Jordan. Michael Jordan backpack. Looks to be in good condition, but I want $20 for that bag. I don't know if uh, this is this something new with tags. $4.60. Hmm. I don't think this is a name brand. It looks like something. Uh, it's it says products with purpose. So it's probably one of those things that are like made by people in like a third world country and then sold for like charity. But four dollars and sixty cents, I think that's it's kind of cute for four dollars and sixty cents. Down here we got this bag. I was trying to see what this says, but I'm pretty sure that's Diane von Furstenberg. It's like a a suitcase. It's ten dollars and one cent. I found one on eBay right there. It's a uh, folding travel garment bag, sold for forty-four dollars plus shipping. So not too bad, but this is pretty big. It's gonna take up a lot of space, and it'll probably take a long time to find somebody to be willing to pay do top dollar for it. So at ten bucks, I think I'll just leave that behind for somebody else. I will say this Goodwill does have a very good selection of stuff, but probably because it's so so overpriced. Got a golf club shoehorn for four dollars. A golf club bottle opener for four dollars we've got these two little three little skeletons up here very cute but they're six dollars each came over to the hats let's see what they got over here and got this little kids like a baby nike hat for ten dollars man this is this is one of the most expensive goodwills we've ever been to a little titleist hat this one is eleven dollars and it's got a big embroidery on the side man, this is just That's $20. $20. Yeah, we should get going. Yeah. We can this is just a waste find of time. a better place. <laughs> so not only was that Goodwill very expensive, but they also charge sales tax here. Oh, wow. Yeah, I don't know if it's a Georgia thing or not. In South Carolina, thrift stores don't charge sales tax. So that bag we got ended up costing $4.97. Still a good deal. I mean, we could probably yeah, get 15 bucks for it or something like that. But not too impressed with the first stop of the day. Place stop number two is better at this Salvation Army family store. Just pick found some Sorel boots up here. A little dirty, but only $4.99. That's pretty good. Little kids Sorel boots. That is pretty good. I'm gonna grab those. Also got one of Adidas Bounce Edge Lux shoes. They're only $4. I'm gonna grab those too. So obviously Haley found a good amount of items. The only thing I've found so far is this Georgia belt. It's like a black and brown um, just basic leather belt, but it's in good condition. The brand is Zep, Zep Pro, uh, and it doesn't look like it's ever been really worn. Like the holes down here are like still in good condition, so we might be able to get ten or fifteen dollars for that. I don't know. Belts are belts are only a dollar, so that's pretty good there. And then I just saw this vintage Power Rangers pillowcase. Oh wow, yeah, that's cool. It's from Sabin, Sabin's Power Rangers Time Force, and it's dated. 2000 so pretty cool probably not worth a ton of money but i imagine a pillowcase is only i don't know maybe 50, 50 cents pillowcases are 99 cents 99 cents so a dollar we can probably get maybe 10 bucks or so for that just found this modern like screen print 3xl shirt but it's power rangers that is so cool just found this walls blizzard proof usa insulated like kids overalls are really cool I'm not gonna get it, but it was pretty interesting. This is a 3D printer. Uh, it's like mono price or something. They want 30 bucks for it, which is a pretty good, pretty good price. I just don't know anything about these, and I don't know how to fully test it or anything like that. So I'm gonna leave it. But 
first time I've ever seen a 3D printer in a thrift store. Let's see, how much are glasses? Sir. How much are glasses? Oh, yeah, cents. Okay, I'll have those too. You too. 20 bucks. Grab these Oakley glasses uh, last minute. They're the Oakley Ch Chamfer? C-H-A-M-F-E-R. So pretty cool. Uh, they are prescription glasses, but I feel like the lenses are pretty easy to change out. I only paid a dollar for the glasses. I'm sure they retailed for at least a hundred bucks or so. So we'll see. Literally. Chick-fil-A break, you guys, of course. But shout out this Chick-fil-A because they have a, what is it called? RV and, RV bus, and parking, bus parking. I think we call it about four. And they also have a separate parking lot back here, which I assume is for employees. I mean, look at the size of this parking lot. It's huge. Very impressive. So Chick-fil-A was a success. success for the most part. I did spill Polynesian sauce on my pants twice, uh, but that's to be expected. That's like you know? twice less than usual. <laughs> Next stop is another Goodwill, but we've traveled, I don't know, like another hour or so down the interstate. So I don't think we're in Augusta, which is where we the- are not. Definitely we're past not, Augusta. Definitely not sure. in Augusta, but maybe we're in an area of the world where Goodwills are not insanely overpriced. Over here in the shoe section, got this very cute little pair of kids Ugg boots. Uh, they're a little expensive, like $6.99, seven bucks, but they're in great shape. Like I don't think they've ever been worn at all. And they're just very, very cute. I'm definitely gonna go ahead and grab those. Just want a couple of jerseys here. Larry Fitzgerald. I think that's Adrian Peterson. And Johnson. I don't know who that is. Okay. Are uh, only three twenty-four each, which is not too bad. Just found this nineteen ninety-six Atlanta shirt on the Oneida Power Tea Bag. It is three twenty-four. I also found this Life is Good shirt, um, and I'm gonna keep it because that's really cute. Also picked up these two type tees. This is a wrestling shirt, hit hard. What is that? Hit often. And then this is a Call of Duty. Yeah, Call of Duty t-shirt. So Haley has found a ton of stuff. The only thing I found since the Ugg boots is this Nike hoodie, size medium. I don't know if it's men's or women's, but it's just got the little embroidery right there. And everything here is pretty affordable. This one's only six dollars and twenty-four cents. We'll probably get at least fifteen bucks or so for it. Haley picked up a ton of really cool T-shirts. Uh, so so far so good. We'll keep looking around a little bit longer here. Also found this little UGG hoodie right here. I've never seen an UGG hoodie before. We did find an UGG jacket at the Goodwill Bins uh, a couple weeks ago, but it was ripped, so I didn't get it. But we found comps on that was actually pretty good. This is seven dollars and twenty-four cents. I think I'll get it. I don't see anything wrong with it. It's full zip. It's very, very soft. I think that's a winner. Over here, we got this case. I got excited because it's a DJI, which makes very high quality drones. But when I open it up, it doesn't have a drone in there, but it's got accessories. It's got like this thing which holds your pad. It's got the strap for it. It's got whatever that is. I think just the case alone is probably worth, worth grabbing. So I'll grab that. And this is is four dollars looking over here in the purses just to see if i see anything that catches our eye we never really find super high-end stuff but we do find interesting things like this little beaded santa purse like i don't know if you can tell in video but all of those are like individual beads it's got a nice little christmasy like crossbody to it the back of it is like this satin velvety stuff it's got a zipper it's really cute it's pretty cool it's like a little christmas party or something and it's only two dollars so i think i'll go ahead and get that over here in the jackets i got this cannondale jacket size medium it has these removable sleeves that are like it's like almost like magnets or something in there so you can just easily take them off this is seven dollars and 24 cents and pretty much the exact jacket over on ebay is selling pre-owned for like 40 bucks like it's basically the same thing so i think i'll go ahead and grab that got this nice carhartt size large like quarter zip pullover brown i wish i had a carhartt logo on the front but it's got one down here at the bottom and it is six dollars and 24 cents i think i'll definitely go ahead and go ahead and grab that this is such a cool shirt that i also might keep stuck in the 90s modern but 
Look at that. Also going to be 324 at this location. Lots of teas today, you guys. I pick up this North Face Men's Medium. 324. These would be $1.50 at our location, so it's a little bit more, but I'm okay with that. I also found this modern Metallica shirt. It's got some stains, but I think they'll come out. It looks really cool. Just found this Angels shirt. It's on a Russell Athletic tag, but not made in USA, so I don't know if it's actually vintage, but still a really cool pickup for $3.24. Also just found this Jacksonville Jaguars Nike on-field jacket, size 2XL. It does have a little something right there, but it looks like it'll come off. Uh, this is $6.24. It also has a cool little hit on the back, Jacksonville Jaguars, but also another one of those little stains on the back. It does look superficial. Pretty sure it'll come clean and for less than $7. Yeah. I think that's a scoop. I think we found a lot of really, really good stuff in there. We spent what, one hundred five? One hundred five dollars and seventy-two. One hundred five dollars and seventy-two cents. The people in there, the employees, were so Super nice. nice. So probably the nicest Goodwill out. ever. Yeah, shout out this Goodwill. I have no idea How where we are, but <laughs> they were so friendly. So the next thrift stop. It says it's a thrift store on Google, but it's kind of giving me like pawn shop vibes. So I'm not sure if we'll be able to confidently film in here, but we'll see if we can find anything. So we come inside, it's kind of, it, it makes me feel like they buy like Amazon returns or something. There's a bunch of like Funko Pops and there's some furniture. There's just random stuff. They got the little Jerry and the little Sebastian Funko Pops, but they're $10 each. So I don't know, it's got some light fix, 65 bucks. You like that light fixture? Yeah. They got a whole room of Ryobi. That's crazy. Unfortunately, that store was a bust, but the good news is there's a Goodwill right behind that Dunkin' Donuts over there, so we'll head there. If you guys are still watching today's video, that means you probably like it, at least something about it, so go ahead and hit the like button if you haven't already. Also, if you haven't yet, please consider subscribing to the channel. It's totally free. You just hit the button down below that says subscribe, uh, and we're fairly close to 400,000 subscribers, so if you want to help us get to that goal, that would be super cool. We've got two hats down here. I don't know what that is. But this one, I think that's the Colorado Rockies, Rocky 5950. It's only two bucks. This one's also only two bucks. I'm pretty sure it's baseball. It's got a Team MLB thing on the side. Probably get that too. Some other cool hats up there too. This little Coca Cola Champion hat. Those are like brand new. Two bucks. I fly. I don't know what that is. Windows. On these Nike blazers. I don't want six bucks for them. Size ten and a half. Yeah. So North Face. Six bucks. I'll grab this. This is just an NBA oh, tag, but it's a really cool like Bulls basketball shirt, and it's got the Bulls logo on the back. I'm gonna grab that for 324. Check out this Disney shirt, modern, but look at the graphic. That's really cool. Nothing on the back, but I'm definitely picking that up. I hope you guys can hear my quiet voice over the music, but I just found these Jordan flight pants, 624. Definitely grabbing those. Shout out this brand, you guys. Cool. They look like in new condition. 624. Josh, I just found cool pants and they still have this thing. Oh, my tax cool pants. Yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> For $6.25. Right? Holy crap. If you guys don't know, cool. Great brand. These are probably like, I don't know, $120 pants new. Yeah, I'm gonna keep looking over here. Yeah. Found a couple more clothing items here. This shirt is $6.24 and it is a Panhandle Slim made in USA. I don't know if it's vintage or not, but it's super cool. It's got stars all over it. It's got a big star on the sleeve here that's all embroidered. Stars all over the back. Just very cool, like westerny style shirt. I think that'll do pretty well. And then I grabbed this for, well, I was gonna grab this for personal use, just a Ralph Lauren polo shirt, but then I just saw this big paint stain on the sleeves. I'll put that back. Haley, what you got? It's a dollar sixty-nine. I'm taking a chance on it. eBay auction game. Check it out. Two of these cool vans over here. They've got these like little diamond patterns on them. And then on the bottom they've got a diamond and a spade. And the best part is they're only six bucks. Definitely go ahead and grab those. 
I was looking at these right here because I thought they were Rothies out of the corner of my eye, but these are birdies. Very similar style to Rothies. They're like that knit, flat women's dress shoe. They're only $6. They're not quite as good as Rothies, but I still think we can get to about 30, maybe 35 bucks for those. Here's some very similar, sold for 40 on auction with 10 bids, 35 with one bid. I mean, prices are all over the place, but there is an exact pair of those listed on eBay right now for like 65 bucks bucks in pre-owned condition so for six dollars we'll definitely take a take a chance on those also got some of these Merrill hiking shoes these things look absolutely brand spanking new and they are six dollars get those what else we got over here are these DC shoes those are really cool DC is a brand of skate shoe I don't know if they're worth as much as they used to be worth, but these are also only six dollars. Look at this. What you I got? Just, I love these goodwills. These, there's so many people in here stocking, and they're all so nice. Yeah, there's like three employees just putting stuff out on the racks. I saw that earlier. I passed because it has like a stain right there, but I, mm. it's not huge. I think it might be right there too. Uh, they just put that out. Oh wow. That's super it's cool. not on a Harley tag though, it's only tag. on that, but... I still think that's pretty cool. It's only two bucks. I think they just put this out too, this Under Armour Infrared Cold Gear. We could just sit here and just wait. Yeah. <laughs> They're like steady bringing out new stuff. It's like a burgundy. It's a 2XL, which is a really good size, and it is $6.24. Looking at this shirt right here, Scott Wyland. Never heard of this before. It's a 3XL, good size, and it's got this cool little detail on the back. It seems fairly high quality. It's got like nice buttons and stuff. So I looked it up on eBay, and there are currently 32 used uh, shirts of this brand listed on eBay. So now we go to sold. And it'll show you how many have sold in the last 90 days, and that is 57. So that number is bigger than the number listed. So this has over 100% sell-through rate, and the prices are like 24, 35, 12, 28, 35. So I think that'll be a scoop, especially since it's a 3XL. It's a good size. I think we can probably get about 30 to 35 bucks for that. Also got this little Nike hoodie here. However, if you look at this tag, that is very suspicious. I've never seen a Nike tag look like that. And the embroidery kind of looks weird too. It's got the, the top of the N is connected to the I and it's connected to the K as well. And that's just really sloppy. The inside stitching looks really weird as well. I'm 95% sure that's fake, so we're gonna leave it. I've already looked at all the hard goods in the back and I didn't see anything, but I also didn't film that. And I don't want you guys to think that we only look at clothes and shoes. That's just what we normally find. But we got a whole basket section here. We've got some wooden, oh, this is Salad Master. A Salad Master knife block. Huh. So there's one listed, six slots, the exact same one listed on eBay for $29. Um, there's 18 currently listed for sale and none sold in the last 90 days. Salad Master is a good brand of pot, pot or pan. If you look out for that, Salad Master, those are good, but apparently knife blocks are not good. But we've got a little sporting goods section back here. They had five or six golf clubs to choose from, nothing really going on there. We've got the Tupperware aisle, we've got the Christmas decoration aisle. You know, we always walk through all this. It's just pretty rare these days that we find anything worth much. Oh, look at here. Oh, we got Louisville Slugger baseball glove for $6.09. That looks old too. Kmart tag. It's kind of Kmart. It was originally $40. Yeah, I'll grab that for sure. This is the softball and softballer. It's got this pretty basic North Face hoodie right here, but it's a women's size medium, full zip, no stains, and it's only $7.24. I think I'll go ahead and grab that. An extremely successful stop at that Goodwill. We spent a total of $121.30 on all that stuff, and we should have no problem making a profit. Just those cool pants alone should sell for like I don't know, like 60 or $70, yeah, was, I think. The Jordan flight pants. Jordan I don't know what pants. those are worth, but those are really cool. So we have finally made it all the way to Atlanta, Georgia, and we have time for basically one more stop before we're meeting some folks for dinner tonight. Uh, this place is called Park Avenue I think we have Rift. to go this way. There's furniture in front of the door. Oh yeah, gotta go to this way. 
Uh, apparently they're having a big 50% off sale today, 50% off the entire store. Uh, so maybe we can find some good stuff. Wow, this place is huge. These really cool leather little booties here. And I was like, I wonder what brand those are. And they're actually Dansko. I believe that says $12. So these would be half off six bucks. I think that's worth it for leather Dansko booties. Got some more shoes right here. These Nike, I think they're the Air Max SB or something. Air Max, Air Max Bruin. Nike SB Air Max Bruin. Those are really cool. I think that says 14. God, these prices are so hard to say. I think it's 14, so half price would be seven bucks for those. So I came back here to the bag section, I guess. Look at this. Two me. The freaking. Friggin' Toomey bag. Just sitting. That is Toomey, right? Toomey? T3? I'm not going crazy. <laughs> What's wrong with it? That clips. That works. That's, that's freaking nice, man. I don't know how much it is, but nothing in this story has been expensive so far, so I'll keep you posted. But that's, that's pretty good. Also got this Cody bag. Never heard of that brand before, but it's literally new with tags. It feels very um, high quality. It's like a carry-on laptop bag. Um, it's got a little charging cord in there. The only thing is, I think it is missing the shoulder strap, but... Oh, it's $6.56, so half price would be $3.50. I think I'll get it. Just looked up this Cody bag on eBay and there was the exact same bag right there sold on March 27th for 50 bucks free shipping. It was brand new. And this one, I mean, still has the tag. It's, it is missing the shoulder strap, so that hurts the value a little bit, but for $3.50, I still think that's a buy. Got this really cool Harley Davidson. It's kind of like a, it's a t-shirt, but it feels like a polo or something. It's on the Harley Davidson tag. It is made in Malaysia, so it's extra large. What's cool about this, it doesn't have any like special, well actually it does have an Atlanta patch on the sleeve, but nothing on the back, pretty cool. $7.52, so it'd be, you know, $3.75, something like that. Some more shoes over here, these Merrells. These things are like brand spanking new. Literally, like maybe worn one time. Looks like they're, I really have no idea what that price is. I, I'm gonna, worst case scenario, I think it's $19, so these would be like eight, uh, nine dollars and fifty cents, maybe. I still think that's worth it. I mean, these are eighty dollars shoes, worn once. We got something up here. This gotcha. Never heard of these gotcha shoes before, but they are in very good condition. Got some Air Max. Oh, that bubbles. Bubbles popped on those. Got these really cool Under Armour joggers right here. So that's two XL, five dollars and forty-five cents, half price. So like two dollars and fifty cents for these joggers. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I'll grab those. There's no signs or anything. Oh, those are cool. I'm mm. out of being like fifty percent off. So, I don't know. so it's a it's a text. Yeah, she said she sent me like a screenshot of the text. We have to send it to the register, but it's fifty percent oh, off yeah. everything but tan tags. Which yeah. I don't see any tan tags. So these would be like four bucks. Just found these really cool Converse's fleece on the inside. These have. 1251T on it, so half off, maybe like six bucks. They're pretty cool for six bucks. Just found these fit flops. They are 393, so half off of that. You can get probably like 20 to 30 bucks on these. Well, you guys, I think we still got some good stuff. However, the majority of things that we actually picked up today were not half off. They, <laughs> we apparently got all the tan things that were not on sale. <laughs> there was a little bit of a language barrier in there. Yes. Um, literally out of everything we got, one thing was half off, half price. Everything else was full price. So we did put a couple of the higher price items back, but I still think we got a lot of good stuff. And I think that to me laptop bag should probably pay for everything. We spent a total of one hundred dollars right hundred dollars and ninety three cents ninety three cents hundred dollars ninety three cents so not bad the Tumi bag should sell between 75 and 100 bucks i think uh could be wrong on that but pretty close and then the goal of today's video was to find enough potential profit to pay for the whole trip um 
So we gotta look at the numbers between the gas, the lodging, mm -hmm. and the food. So let's take a look at that. So we spent $352.92 on all of the thrifted items in today's video. We spent about $80 in gas total for the entire Atlanta trip there and back. We only spent about 40 bucks on food because our friends took us out to dinner the night we got to Atlanta and they paid for that. And then our hotel was about $180 after taxes and fees, giving us a total cost for this trip of $652.92. So I'm not 100% sure how many items we bought in today's video, but I just set up a whatnot auction for a couple minutes from now with 16 of the items we got in today's video. Uh, a lot of the t-shirts like the Atlanta and the Angels, Call of Duty, stuff like that, the little Colorado Rockies hat that I found. So 16 of the more basic items. We're going to start everything at a dollar and just see what happens in that, in that auction. I also brought some of the other high dollar stuff out here and I'll just show that in the auction. Like once people are in here, I'll just be like, hey, here's some other stuff we have. I don't want to start that at a dollar because I don't want to lose money on stuff, uh, but I'll just show people what we have. And then if we can start it at a price that works for both of us, we'll sell that too. But we're definitely going to sell at least these 16 things and then see how much profit we make from those. One of the items that we have in our bag of stuff that I don't want to run for a dollar is that Cannondale cycling jacket with the removable sleeves. Like that's a very particular item. Like that is a jacket for somebody who cycles and the odds that we have a cyclist come to today's whatnot auction is pretty slim. And if I started that at a dollar, it might sell for five or six bucks, but that's what we paid for it. So I don't want to lose, <laughs> lose money on this stuff. So we'll probably list that on eBay, but some of the other items like the Carhartt pullover and the Ugg hoodie and, and things like that, like those have a little bit wider market demand, I guess. So those are items that we might hold up and be like, hey, I don't want to start this for a dollar, but if you want it for 15 bucks, that's still a really good deal. And I would be good at that because that would be, I would be good with that price because that would be, you know, a little bit more than doubling our money, assuming that nobody else bids on it. So we may take a risk on some of those things. The auction starts in eight minutes, so I'll keep you guys posted. But just wrapped up this whatnot auction. We were able to sell all 16 $1 start items, and then we slowly added in another 14 items total as, as desired from the chat. Uh, altogether, we sold 30 things and made a total gross uh, revenue amount of $546. However, I did add a couple of these uh, vintage bumper stickers from another video. I don't know if you guys have seen that video yet, but we got these at the flea market and we had $34 in sales from those. So I do have to back that out to account, account for that. So 546 minus 34 is $512, I believe. And we also have to take out whatnot fees, which is about 11 and a half percent. So once we do both of those, that leaves us with about 450 bucks or so in net revenue from this sale, uh, which does not meet our goal. However, although we did sell 30 items today, we still have plenty of things left from today's haul that we haven't sold yet. Don't wanna show you everything, but we'll go over a couple items so you get an idea of what we're working with. The North Face hoodie sold for 19 bucks. We got the Colorado's, the Colorado Colorado Rockies hat for six bucks. We got uh, Call of Duty t-shirt sold for nine dollars. These Merrill hiking shoes sold for 45 bucks. Those are really good. They're in fantastic condition there. Harley Davidson shirt sold for 25 bucks. Uh, Atlanta Olympic shirt sold for eleven dollars. Uh, men's Under Armour uh, Cold Gear shirt, the pullover sold for 10 bucks. These Nikes down here, the Nike SB Bruins, whatever, I think these sold for $38, wherever they are. Uh, the little Santa purse, the, the little beaded Santa purse sold for $8, paid $2 for that, a little sale there. Uh, in the end, everything always balances out. Ooh, the Ugg, the Ugg hoodie, that one sold for $27. That was really good too. And again, we still have plenty of items that didn't sell. We have three of the jerseys left that didn't sell. We got the, uh, the these Converse shoes, little Ugg kids boots, the Birdies shoes, which will probably go for like 40 bucks or so. We got the Nike, uh, whatever these Nikes are, I forgot, I forgot they are, the ones Haley found, those should do pretty well on eBay. We got the DC shoes, the Louisville Slugger glove, which I might not sell this. I, I was gonna sell it in today's auction, but I realized that the leather right there is disintegrating, so we may just toss that in the trash as a loss. We also have the rest of this stuff that hasn't sold yet either. We got this $30 Georgia belt. We got these camouflage overalls or whatever that Haley found, the Panhandle Slim shirt. We got that really nice Scott Wyland shirt that sells for you know 30 35 bucks or so we got the jordan flight pants the cool pants that are technically new with tags that's an easy 40 to 50 bucks on those the cycling jacket i was talking about earlier we got the Toomey bag that hasn't sold yet that's an easy probably 50 to 60 there we got the jacksonville jaguars jacket we got the other laptop bag we got the dji drone case we got this mlb hat whatever logo that is 
Adidas shoes, Sorel boots, the Harry Potter hoodie, all of this is still available. So although we are technically still $202.92 away from our break even point, I think we will have zero problems at all getting there once all the stuff we got today actually sells. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you've made it this far and you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, again, I'd really, really like it if you could do that. We're so close to 400,000 subscribers and I'd love to hit that before the end of this year. That's like, I don't know, six months away. I really think we can do it with your help. Thank you guys again for watching. You're the best. We will catch you on the next one.